So Mia Ham is out. We're gonna show you how to grind it in this video as well as doing other things. Now I just released a video of a method which is absolutely broken right now where you can get uh, Golasso heroes and Golasso icons like on non-stop over and over and over again. It is the most recent one put on the channel. Before we get into the actual grind of the actual video, I wanted to show you guys that the objectives and SBCs are on the wrong time. So what I mean by that is they actually refresh in like an extra, what's the time now? Half past. So in 30 minutes time. So they brought out the SBCs one hour early and then they brought the objectives and the SBC refreshes two hours later. So EA messed up there. So if you don't know what I mean by that is, for example, the 83 times 10 is meant to be refreshed now. It actually won't be refreshed again until 30 minutes time. So if you're looking for it, that's where it is. The same as the daily gold upgrade and the daily silver. As you can see here, look, they refresh in 27 minutes. I haven't done them all yet. That's why they're there. But when I scroll to the end, you'll see that the 83 times. Time to upgrade your team. Head over to lootbar.gg. Best and most reliable place to buy coins. Don't forget to use code NANIC for 8% off on all your orders. Once they have made their way through, the coins will be delivered within the next 24 hours and you will be ready to improve any of your team. Like I said, the link will be down in the description and the comment section. Use code down for 8% off and improve your team today. 10, should be around here somewhere, I believe. Yeah, there it is. So that's why they're not there, this just messed up. So when I mention about the grind in general, I just wanted to get that out of the way. So in terms of upgrades, you are gonna do the classic if you don't have anything in your club. Bronze pack into silver, won the dailies, then do these to get player picks. You'll get 11 golds, 44 golds altogether. Now, the method that I have been doing for the unlimited Galasso heroes and icons, if you don't want to watch that video, even though I highly recommend it, is you just do these picks. You grind these picks, you get as much as you can out of these picks, making sure that you put one rare in every time and the rest common. Now, I'm going to do one pick just quickly to show you what you can do in certain situations. Then I'm going to go to the store in terms of packs that I already have from grinding from the previous video that I mentioned. And what you'll see is what I've managed to build up over time. So let's open up this pick and see what we get. And as you can see, absolutely dreadful pick. But an 82 rated is what we're looking for as a minimum. The reason being is we can do team of the week picks on top. So now if I head over to the store... What you want to do is grind those player picks over and over and over by doing the daily bronze and daily silver into that daily gold that I mentioned. You will get these packs here that give you more bronzes and silvers back. And then this mixed players pack that you see on your screen now, you will get these unlimited. The more you grind, the more you'll get them. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. And the reason why this is so good, not only is it tradable, so let's say you didn't want this 85 and you wanted to sell it, you got yourself a few coins back, but that 85 can go into an SPC I'll show you in a second. These three commons will then go into an 80 plus player pick. The silvers can go into your daily upgrades or premium ones and the same for the bronzes. Now you shouldn't have duplicates like I do in bronzes. If you're starting out, if you do, just put them into the SPC you want or discard them. Now where I get those packs from, and it's really important that you remember this when you're going through the grind, where I got those packs from is the actual team of the week. So with this, we need 284 rated and an 82 rated team. If you put in 284s, you can then have an 81 altogether. So every other player is 81 rated. That's going to give you this pack here. And then 185, you can have, I think it's like 383s or 483s, the rest 82. And they keep giving you packs back to then do more upgrades. And I'll go through that process in a second. So you want to put in 82s, 83s, 84s and 85s into them. And if you do have a load of 81 spare, then you can put that in there as well. But everything that's basically 81 and lower will go into the player pick. And then what you'll get is these packs here. Once you get like an 87 or 88 or an 89, that can go into Mia Ham or it can go into an exchange. So I've got an exchange spare. We're going to open up our 51s first. The reason why this is so good at this minute in time is because we've got an 85 player out of this, which is either really helpful for doing the team of the week pick that I just mentioned or this card can go back into the exchange. Now, all these other cards that you see, apart from that 82 endo, the 81 down, all of these cards that you see will go into the player picks. And this 83 here you see will also go into the team of the week player pick. So, for example, the reason why I'm swapping these all over, just in case you didn't know, if you swap them over, and then when you go to your SBC and go to acquiry date, don't worry, I'll show you where that is. We don't know where that is. If you go to newest, it's then going to basically put these cards right at the front so you don't have to take a picture, you don't have to try and remember what duplicates you have. But every time you get an 89 rated fodder that doesn't go into Mia Ham, for example, that you want to use, put that into the exchange because it's going to give you 51 players, which is like six to seven or maybe even eight player picks back each time. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is, first of all, is go ahead and go to the team of the week pick and show you what I'm going to do with the 85 that I got from the pack. So the 85 will go straight away into this SPC. 
Get this one done and out of the way. Always recycle any duplicates you got. So you can see here, the acquiry date's on newest. We then press Wild Triangle. And then here are all our most recent cards that we got. There's the 83. And 82 can go into this as well. And then if we scroll down, we should get that 85 that I got from the pick a second ago. Where is it? When we see it is at the bottom here. And that's our most recent. Now, like I said, all of these goals that you see on my screen now have just come from that 51 players pack. Go and put all of them into the 80 plus player pick. And then I will be right back when this SBC is complete with the 83s I have from doing that method. So let me go ahead and do that now. Also, I forgot to mention the 83 times 10 is going to come back. I have an open mind. I'm kind of saving them for the second team, team two of Golasso. But you can grind them by doing this method as well. So if you want to check out that method I mentioned in terms of the video before the Golasso like Ultimate Hero 1, etc. That's where you're going to get them from. So now we have all of these players. So all of these players you see on your screen, I'm going to go ahead and make 80 plus player picks. We should have seven player picks once it's done. So let me go do that and I'll be right back once that is complete. So I have recycled all of those golds and all those 51 players we have made into picks. Now we have got eight picks and this is where the Mia hand grind really starts. So the first one, we're going to take 84, even if it's a duplicate, because that can go into the team of the week player pick. And like I say, we are trying to get as many 85s or higher as we can. But if not, we'll take 84s as a secondary thing. And you basically want to go through this system over and over again. So let's just say you get yourself a really high rated card, but you're not ready to complete the SBC yet. Don't save it. Go ahead and basically go and complete the exchange of the value and get more picks and so you can keep going round and round without having to waste. So you can see here, these picks haven't been the best for me right now. 81, 83, 83, 84, 84. But we get ourselves our first 85, which is fantastic. And we can go into the last two and see what we get out of these two. And as you can see, even my pack luck isn't best. I know you're wondering why I'm not taking the 83s. It's because I don't want duplicates for this video. Otherwise, I would. And our last pick here. You can see we get ourselves an 82. So you could argue straight away that they're not the best picks. But what you are going to go ahead and do with these picks now is I rotate them around one by one. We're going to go ahead and put them in the team of the week player pick. Now we need as many team of the weeks as we can. One reason Mia Ham needs a few of them. But also if you get yourself like an 87 that you don't need to use, you can put that into the exchange. And I can already hear you saying, well, that's not great value. Why would I do that? Trust me, like trust, hashtag trust the process as they say. Like, trust me on this, it will be way more beneficial if you do that. There's no point you holding on to an inform that you're not going to use. And, of course, on top of that, you are also going to have your 83 times 10 that aren't available at the moment while I'm recording this video. But a lot of these players you see can go into that. So let's say the ones that we're doing now, we can pop these into this um, Team of the Week pick. And then that Team of the Week can go into the 83 times 10 you get yourself quite a few high-rated cards. I've got a pack say, so I'll open it for this video. But you'll get quite a few high-rated cards back, and then off you go. So as you can see, all the golds in this is what we packed in this video. You can go back and check them. Now we have ourselves our first team of the week into the club, if you don't have any. But also, it helps you do the grind. So all of our duplicates have gone back into our club. Let's open up our team of the week player pick and see what we get. So we've got an 87, an 85, and an 85. So nothing too crazy there. But let's just say, when we go back to the Mia Ham SBC in a second... Let's say you've done that 87 rated with the team of the week, this one here, and you don't need it anymore. There's no point holding on to an 87 unless you've got these two left to do. Let's just say you've completed all three, and you're like, well, what do I do with an 87 now? That would then go into the exchange. There's no point you holding it, or it will go into the 83 times 10. But once you've done all of those as well, then you have nothing else to put them in. So that's going to give you 19 back, which is going to be three player picks back to try and get higher rated fodder. But let's just use our imagination right now and pretend that I put that 87 in form into the 83 times 10. You've now got yourself an 83 times 10. Let's go ahead and open one and see what we get out of it and then explain to you what you need to do with that. So as you can see here, it looks like we're going to get ourselves a cobble 87. Let's see if it's a double walkout or not. So it is not going to be a double walkout. So it's an absolutely terrible 83 times 10. But not a problem here. So that 87 can go straight back into the exchange. Then these 83s and 84s you see will go into a team of the week player pick. And our 85 team of the week, that can go straight back into an 83 times 10. Or if you've already done them all, you could try and do one of the Mia Ham ones. I don't think you could do it. But if not, that's an 85 rated player to go into the exchange so you're not stuck in the uh, like duplicate land. So you can see kind of how the grind starts to build itself up by doing that over and over. Now bearing in mind, once I start doing this 83 team of the week pick again, I have got 
an absolute abundance amount of golds in my club. I'll show you just now if I go to golds. I do this every single day, and I do this method. You can see here, these are all the cards that I have from just grinding the game over and over. This is what your club will look like the more consistent you are with it. It's not going to happen in one day. It could take a couple days. But once you are there and you're ready to start building on top of what you already have, the grind becomes unbelievably easy, like too easy. So again, all these cards you see that I'm putting into this Team of the Week player pick, again, are all the cards that we've packed in this video, even the 85 tier Hernandez. And now we should be able to put in one more 83, and then we should be able to put in, hopefully, an 81 and possibly a 76. There we go, perfect. So again, all these cards have been packed in this video. We got rid of a lot of our duplicates. And then we can go back and then we can have a look now to see what we have got rid of. And don't forget, we've got these two packs or these three packs from the Team of the Week SBC to open to give us more player picks on top, more silver upgrades, more bronze upgrades. I've also got more 83 times 10s. I want them, but look how many more exchanges I have ready to do more and more picks on top. So again, the more efficient you are with it, the easier it becomes. I cannot stress that enough. If you are a little bit lost and you don't understand something, there is a Discord you can join. It's going to be in the, the description. Or you can join the membership program and learn from courses and stuff like that how to grind out properly. So now I've got an 84 and an 85. So for the sake of this video, even though I should probably wait another 10 minutes of recording to put it into an 83 times 10, I'm going to pop that 85 into an exchange just for the sake of the video, just to speed it up. That's going to give us one player pick back from that 85. But bearing in mind that we got it from a um, exchange pack anyway, it doesn't really matter. And then we have our 87 cobble that can go back into the exchange as well. So it gives us more picks on top. Now I've got my 84 Scriniar to deal with. So let's go over to our team of the week again. And with that, we can go ahead and complete this one more time. So in this video alone, we've completed it twice. We've got some cards into exchanges. I think I've kind of covered it enough for you guys to understand. But like I say, if you are a little bit lost, please let me know and I'll try and explain it as best I can. Or join the Discord as you were. So again, we've got two 84s into this uh, just to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a load of 81s and I'll be back once that's done. So that has been complete. And as you can see, two 84s are in and then the rest are 81 rated. Keeps that nice and cheap. Not only have we recycled the other duplicates we have, we have also got another team of the week now. And the chance to get a really big player or someone to go into the Mia Ham SBC. As we get a 90 rated or an 88 rate, which is absolutely massive for completing the Mia Ham and getting high rated cards in. So we'll take the Shaman, put them into our club, and then we can go ahead and open up some more of the packs that we have saved. Again, from the Team of the Week player pick that we've been doing, we've got ourselves four packs now for completing it twice. So we've got our first one here, three gold, three silver, three bronze. Fantastic for player picks, silver upgrades, bronze upgrades. And we're just repeating the cycle as we go round and round and round. So you can see there, three golds, three silver. Brilliant for going into either upgrade that we want to do. And this is how you start building unlimited picks as you go around. So again, we're going to skip it. It's German. It's centre mid. Hopefully that's good to 186, but we'll have to see. It's not. Of course it's not. So again, three golds into the player pick, three silvers into the upgrade. And then we have our other two packs on top of that, which is actually going to be four silver, four bronze, and four gold that I was mentioning a minute ago. Only one rare, so don't expect anything too crazy. Unfortunately, that's going to be a silver rare, but that's going to be four gold commons to go back into the player pick. Four silvers, four bronzes, blah, 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 into the duplicates or into any upgrades that we want. So you can see here, we're just building our club up by doing the same thing. It's really, really efficient, and it makes more sense if you do the team of the week picks for this reason alone, let alone getting high rate of fodder when you need it. And if not, you can go into the exchange. So again, more players for player picks, silver upgrades and bronze upgrades. And now we have ourselves our last exchange pack. Let me go open up our another 51 from doing an 89 in. Like I say, you want to keep building these up. Every time you get 189, wait, keep building up, do more player picks, try and get more that way. As we get ourselves Rudiger 85 rated. So again, this is another exchange player. It's going to give us an extra pick on top. So that's going to give us around 10 picks from this pack alone. Then we've got an 83 and an 82 that go in the team of the week pick. The rest are going to then be player picks, as you can see. Let's skip to the end of the duplicates. And an 84, 83 for the team of the week, an 82 and 82 for the team of the week, and then the rest can go into the 80 plus player picks. Hope this has kind of covered it all. It is a lot of information to try and cram into like 13, 14 minutes. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.